everyone. Today we're going to be drawing an arrow in Inkscape. Now there's two, there's a really quick way to do it. Um, it really depends on what your needs are. If you have a line or a path segment, you can, well here, I'll just go up to another, uh, do another node. So I draw my line. And then uh, one way you can do it is if you just want to arrow on the end of the line, you can go into the stroke style. You go into markers and click your arrow. Now, it doesn't give you a lot of ability to manipulate the arrow. They do have some other styles, not a lot. Let's see. Get that one. Now, now the other way is you can just just totally draw your own on your own, and that will work out better for some people. Now you can put an arrow on this end. You can put an arrow at this node here, like that. See that? It'd look better if it was a straight line or a continuous straight line. But okay, so let's get rid of that. Rid of that, and the other way to do it would be to use your your rectangle tool, draw your stem, and then come over here and draw a square. Hold down your control key. There. You have to make sure you have it in the right because your control key constrains it. But there's a ratio at the bottom that shows right there. Can strain it to two to one, but you want to go one to one, like that. Then you want to um, you double or you click it twice, so you have the air, the the round directional arrows. Then you grab onto this. Oops, I'm sorry. You grab them onto the round arrows. You turn a little, but you want to hold your control key down to constrain it. So you just want to turn it 45 degrees, and then you let go. Then you, so you have your rotated square. Now you want to change this into a path, object to a path. And now it's not something that's created by here, it's changed into a path. You double click on it, and you see your nodes. Click on this node. There. I guess it's clicked. Hit your control key down, and then hit delete. And then you can move this over. You can select both of these. Now I'm not sure if I like that. Actually, you can hold your shift key. You can change the proportion proportions of this. Hold down your shift key and can change the proportion a little. Okay, so you have this, uh, and you want to select both of these items. And uh, and then you want to go into your Align and Distribute tool. Make sure both are centered on each other. Like that. And you can go in and sh control, or you yeah, just hit Shift and select both of those. Or you can, you can select them like that. Go into Path and do Union. There you have your arrow. And you can do various things like uh, put a drop shadow on them. You can put this over here and then hit live preview it's easy you can see the shadow you can play around with this too blur go back to where it was almost and hit apply close this window close that too there you have it thank you for watching